Samson Ockham was Eliezer Wheelock's first native student, but he was also a Mohegan Indian. He was a scholar, he was a minister, he was a prominent intellectual and a prominent figure in 18th century New England, both in Indian country and I would argue in larger uh, colonial society at the time. And so in that sense, he's not only significant for Native American history, I think he's also significant for how we think about and remember New England and what's going on in New England and the place of, of Native people in New England. And of course, he again doesn't fit the mold of popular history in that he's not an Indian warrior. He's a Native American scholar and a minister. And so in some ways, when people are introduced to Samson Ockham, it's almost as if a dozen stereotypes explode right there. He never set foot in Dartmouth, um, but I think of him as Dartmouth's first development officer, you know, to put it bluntly. He goes to England and he, he meets all the right people, you know, Lord Dartmouth, aristocracy, but he also delivers something like 300 sermons all around England and even in Scotland, and raises 12,000 pounds as the seed money for, for Dartmouth. Well, I think for, for me as a historian, and I think for, for, for Dartmouth as, as a college, the reality is we wouldn't be here at this place with this college had it not have been for Samson Ockham. I mean, Wheelock might have gotten the money together some, some other way, but it wouldn't have happened without Samson Ockham.